Hello my friend! In this video, I am going to go over the four stages of a rebound relationship for the dumper. Now make sure you subscribe if you are brand new to the Psych Authority channel for more great relationship and psychology videos every week. Now let's get straight into this video. First of all, let's define what I mean when I say rebound relationship. A rebound relationship is an unhealthy relationship that someone starts right after breaking up with someone without taking the time to properly heal their wounds of the previous relationship. Since they haven't had time to properly grieve and process the pain of ending their previous relationship, they take all that chaotic energy into their new rebound relationship. So the first stage in a rebound relationship is relief and happiness through easy romance. Now breaking up with someone is very stressful, especially if it was a long-term relationship. On top of that, having to go through this period alone makes it even more difficult. So to solve that problem quickly and easily, the dumper will just jump into a rebound relationship. This gives them a lot of relief from the stress of the breakup and the pain of being alone. Often the dumper will start a rebound relationship as quickly as they possibly can with a new low effort relationship. Because the dumper doesn't want to go through the painful but healthy process of reflection and detachment that is necessary after ending a relationship, they may start dating whoever they can get their hands on. Now this can be a friend of theirs that they have always known likes them more than a friend, or someone they've secretly been keeping as a backup plan, or even someone who is taking advantage of the dumper in their vulnerable emotional state. Now once the dumper has found a suitable partner for their new rebound relationship, they begin stage two the false honeymoon stage. One easy way to spot a rebound relationship is when the dumper's new relationship moves extremely fast through the relationship phases. Healthy romantic relationships usually take a decent amount of time to go through all the natural stages needed to build a loving relationship. But rebound relationships do it at warp speed. They may do things like move in together right away, act like they are the perfect couple, meet each other's family, or even get engaged. And they do all these things without taking enough time to really get to know each other. Essentially, they are making decisions based on emotions and not based on logic. During the false honeymoon stage, the dumper will overlook all their new partner's flaws and only focus on their good qualities. It's like a false, manic version of truly falling in love. But it's less like true love and more like just excitement. A true honeymoon phase where both partners are truly in love with each other comes from real emotional attraction. But in a rebound relationship, the dumper usually doesn't have any true emotional feelings or attraction towards their new rebound partner. The dumper is just excited and honestly they are not thinking clearly. This stage usually lasts anywhere from 6 months to 1 year. Sometimes the dumper will obsess over their new partner and put them on a pedestal as if they are their perfect soulmate. Now things can go south very quickly from here because this is not their soulmate, it's just a trashy rebound relationship. And this all eventually leads into the next stage. Make sure to leave a like if you are enjoying this video. Now let's talk about the next stage of a rebound relationship for the dumper, which is stage three, reality, regret, and comparison. The false honeymoon stage was like a quick burst of love highs, but this is when the pendulum starts to swing the other way. 
Now the love hormones are starting to wear off and both the dumper and their new partner begin to notice flaws and imperfections with each other. If it is a true rebound relationship, then it is not based on any genuine emotional bond or attraction at all. So once the excitement of the false honeymoon stage wears off, the new relationship doesn't fill the hole left in the dumper's life from their old relationship. The scales begin to fall off of their eyes and they begin to see things more clearly and as they really are. The dumper begins to regret their decisions and starts to feel the true loss of their earlier relationship. Since the dumper has used this new rebound relationship purely to escape from having to deal with the loss of their previous relationship and avoid having to reflect on themselves and their own imperfections, the dumper will probably start having the same problems they had in their previous relationship. The dumper has not taken the time to grow as a person, so they bring all the same old personality problems with them into their new relationship. During this stage, the dumper may begin to compare their new partner with their ex, and they will also start remembering the good things about their ex. For example, the dumper may start to realize that their ex handled the dumper's unchecked personality issues better and in a more forgiving way than their new partner. And then the more things that the dumper realizes they don't like about their new partner, the more the dumper will start missing their ex. And the dumper's new partner may start to second guess their relationship as well. The dumper can begin losing interest in their new relationship and even start to miss their ex very badly during this stage. The dumper may even try to communicate with their ex and this can cause lots of problems for the dumper's new relationship, not to mention be very confusing for their ex. The final stage, stage 4, is what I call the turning point stage. This might be the most important stage of a rebound relationship and it can go one of two ways. The dumper will either realize that their new relationship is a disaster or they will convince themselves that their new relationship is actually just fine. Now depending on what the dumper decides, they will either break up with their new partner or they will stay in their new relationship and try to start building a real relationship with their new partner. That is, unless the dumper's new partner dumps them first. But it's in this stage that both people in the dumper's new relationship start to wake up to the reality of the situation, that they foolishly jumped into a dedicated relationship without knowing much about each other, and now that they do know more about each other, there are things they like about each other and things they dislike. And based on that realization, they will either decide to break up or stay together. This is when an actual relationship can start to form. This is when they start to decide whether they do or could actually love their new partner or if there is no chance of it working out at all. Now, how long does a rebound relationship last? Rebound relationships generally last anywhere from one month to one year. But it's actually different for everyone, and there is no one certain time period for each of the stages of a rebound relationship. People can also go back and forth between stages of rebound relationships. But just because you and your partner start arguing, don't immediately assume it's because you're their new rebound relationship. And if you are trying to get back with your ex, but you see them in one of the end stages of a rebound relationship, it doesn't mean you can't still get back together. Do you have an ex who you think is in a rebound relationship? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, please share this video if you have found it helpful. And if you are wondering if you should follow the no contact rule after a breakup, click here to watch this next video and I will see you there.